Alright guys, I just got back from the property. As you can see, I haven't really fully unpacked. I did get a new target in. This is the Delta McKenzie Bloodline target. And it took me a while to pick out a target that I wanted and I'll show some stats and emails and discussion I had with Delta McKenzie. By the way, their customer service and just talking to them, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. They were very quick at responding and super helpful to explain the different types of foam and targets that they had available. I ended up getting this target for just under hundred bucks shipped to the door. So I had 25% off and free shipping, which is really nice. The lady I talked to actually did like, you could put thousands of rounds into this before you need to replace the core. You can shoot the core on both sides, which is nice. And we'll go ahead and open it up. You have your antlers here which are made out of plastic. So here you have the body. It looks like the body's made out of foam. The insert and the insert on this side as well. And this insert is replaceable. So it looks like your insert is only replaceable here on this side, not all the way around here. However, on this side, all the way around the edge comes out. Here's a leg. You have the head. And then we have another leg. Nope, leave it. And then some stakes. If you only see two legs at first, don't freak out because it only takes two legs. So it doesn't come with instructions, but it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. So. We'll go ahead and install the legs. So your legs are actually numbered one and two. It doesn't look like the body's numbered, but I will assume one goes up in the front. So as you can see, the deer doesn't really stand up on its own, but it does come with these two stakes. Which will pound into the ground and then you can slide your deer on top of them. Go ahead and put the head on. All right, so there you have it. We have our bloodline buck here. They do make an XL version if you want something a little bit bigger than this as well. It's dark out right now, so I will set this up tomorrow so that I can take some practice shots. So I'll video myself doing that. For comparison, you can see Witten next to the buck. He's about 70 pound lab. So you can see the buck's actually a pretty good size. Probably a little small for a buck you'll be shooting, but really gets you a good idea of where to aim on the target and gives you somewhat lifelike of a target to shoot at. All right, so we're out here. I'm gonna install the stakes so I can get my 3D target set up. It's pretty simple. The stakes are going to go into these smaller holes here so you can kind of get an idea of where you want them. I want my target to be the background. I want a little bit of a gap between it. So I'm going to pretty much put them right where I have it right here. So I'm going to take a stake and put it here and put one here as well. If your ground's soft enough, you may be able to just push it in, but I'm going to use a hammer. And if you want to be able to practice your quartering away shots and stuff, you could maybe move your stake up or back depending on what you want to practice. There you have it. Now you can get a good shot on your buck and you've got a good back stop here. If you're interested in how I built my target, I'll put a link in the description below and I'll also put a card up here at the top. So now I'm gonna take a few shots and see how easy it is to pull it out and see how much penetration I get. 
So I plan on shooting this like it's a real buck, not 3D, because that's not really where you want to hit. I would have liked to have been a little bit lower, but not a bad group. So for reference, I'm shooting from about 20 yards. My bow is about 65 pounds. It's a Diamond Infinite Edge Pro. And I've got about 580 grain arrows here. And we'll see how much penetration I got. So I got a good amount of penetration, probably about four inches or so. And it really wasn't super easy to pull out of there. That one I only got about three inches of penetration. Similar with that one. What's nice is it's self-healing foam. And so I'm kind of curious to see how long that will last. So maybe I'll do another review after about a thousand shots or so. But I'll take a few more here. So that's how much penetration you're getting right there. So I've put about 10 shots in it already, and as you can see, you know, it's pretty consistent. It holds the arrows, penetrates at about three to four inches about on average. Seems to be holding up pretty well. Doesn't move a ton. Um, I don't plan on leaving this outside in the elements because I think it'll deteriorate a lot quicker. So I'll either cover it with this tarp, or really, you saw how easy it was to put on there. I may just pull the target off the stakes and bring it under the patio so that it's protected. They are a little harder to pull out than my other target, so if I'm going to come out and shoot 100 shots or so, I'll probably just shoot into the target. But it's really good practice on a realistic animal, and I'm really going to enjoy shooting this bug because I think it gives you a good idea of where to aim and, and how to practice shooting a bug for quartering away, quartering two type shots as well. So far, I really like this bloodline bug, and if y'all are interested, I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks, guys.